everyone, this is Andrew from Simi Apps, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a pop-up alert using the UI alert controller. So first of all in our project I'm just going to add a button to show you how it works here. I'm going to name it alert and we'll connect it up to our code using the assistant editor. Hold down the control key, drag it in there and we're going to name it show alert. Oops, sorry. Disregard that, I had to change it to an action. So let's just set it to an action. We'll drag that back in there. Set the connection to an action and we'll name it show alert. Now that we've done that, I'll show you how to code the UI alert. So to do that, first of all, go let alert controller equals UI alert controller then we'll do a bracket and the one we want to use is this one here with title message and preferred style so the title is the thing that will show up the top of it so we'll show name it my app the message we'll do is hey and the preferred style we'll do is ui alert controller style dot alert now that we've done that, we need to add a button to it because by default, these alert controllers don't have any button. So to do that, we use alert controller to add action. And in the actions with the UI alert action brackets. And we'll do the title as OK, the style as UI alert action style dot default and the handler as nil we'll close that off and now we just need to show the alert to the user when they click on a button so to do that use self dot present view controller the view controller will be alert controller we'll make it animated and just do nil for completion now that we've done that, we'll run our app and take a look at the alert. So we see here, we click on this alert button and we've got this alert here, which pops up with the title, which is my app, the message, which is hey, and the button, which is okay, which we added. So if we click on okay, it just simply dismisses the alert and returns the user to whatever they were doing. So you can add more buttons to it by just simply repeating this add action. And I'll show you the different styles of the button as well. So the first one I will show you is a destructive. And then we'll show you the cancel style. So I'll run that again. Click on alert. Now I've got some options here. The first one is a default action style. The second one is destructive, which is in red text. So this usually indicates cancelling out of something or potentially not saving something. And the final one is cancel, which you can see here. It's still blue, but it's more bold. So you can click on any of them to get out of it. Now for the final thing on these alert controls, you might want to connect some code up to each of the buttons to do something different. So what we're going to do, we'll just make a new function here called function print yes. And we'll simply print the word yes out to the console. And we're going to rename one of these actions titles to print yes. So what we want to do here in this print yes action, we want to run this print yes function. So to do that, Simply delete this handler code here. Going back to the style, and to do that, we'll close that off. Then we'll do this curvy brackets here. We'll go, go UI alert action, then in, just in only. And we'll go self dot print yes. And we need to close it off down here with a curvy bracket. So what that does is once they click on that print yes button, it runs the code in these 
curly brackets here, which calls it print yes function. So if we run that now, click on the alert, go print yes, we'll see it dismiss the alert and print it out the word yes to the console. So you can download the source code below. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and leave any feedback below. Also check out our website, Facebook and Twitter by clicking or tapping any of the buttons on screen.